Have you ever thought about how astronauts learned how to walk in space, like before NASA really knew what it was doing? The answer is basically a human-sized air hockey table. This is footage of Ed White training for Gemini 4, which was the second mission of the program and also the first to feature an EVA, an extravehicular activity or a spacewalk. He's standing on a balanced extravehicular training aircraft, which is floating on a steel floor by an air cushion. This training worked decently well for the first EVA. About four hours and 24 minutes into the mission, the crew depressurized the spacecraft and Ed White floated on out. He had that pressurized air gun to help him maneuver around, but he was also connected with an an umbilical. And when the gun ran out of compressed air, he used the umbilical to maneuver himself around and said that it worked decently well. Overall, he said the experience was fantastic and he didn't really want to go back inside. He kind of famously had to have mission control tell him to get back in. He actually dismissed the call. He wasn't deliberately ignoring orders. The mission wasn't without its problems. Once Ed White was back inside, they had a really hard time getting the hatch shut and locked so they could safely repressurize. So much so that they opted not to depressurize a second time and dump excess material, which was part of their flight plan. Nevertheless, the first EVA was a stunning success, and it wouldn't be for a few more missions until NASA learned just how hard and how dangerous EVAs could be. But those are separate stories.